All right, first thing in the morning, these guys usually spend about an hour building sleeves. They build themselves a pretty good stockpile of sleeves. There's one guy that's on the head of the line, and his job is to put the sleeves in the carrier. And we take two of the pro shell cases, cut them in half, and then we tape them together. So we're doing two cases each time. So then he's going to turn around and keep loading the front of the line. And then what we have going here is Jeff's putting an A and a B, or actually he's got C and D, it don't matter, but he's putting an A and B on his side, and then Tony's doing an A and a B on his side. They're just putting them at the very bottom of the case, or the sleeve. Going on one at a time and do the other one. So these guys are going to fill the whole bottom of the sleeves with A's and B's. And I told these guys don't go crazy, you know, pushing stuff. Now they're going to push it down the assembly line. If I don't fall. And then it's going to come to Lil E and Brandon, which are going to put C's and D's in. And see how they pretty much, what they do is they start out with their shells already folded out, a tube in their shell, or with their shells. Same thing over here, you know, if you get behind, you can build more. Be prepared and ready, you know, to start sliding them in. Some people put two in at a time, some people put one at a time. So now that it's finished, these two guys are gonna fold the bottom. We start also, I don't know how you guys are doing it down there, but we actually, have the top of the sleeve down we put everything in so it's easier to fold the base in than it is to try to make the top fold in if that makes sense beef always do it the same way and i find it easier put a slight bend in that pull up push in just like that and we'll go once you get the hang of it you can go quite a bit faster yeah because we tried it the other way in the past and it's way way quicker to fold the bottom in than it is the top so now it's going to come down to the very end of the line where pat is going to start putting them in the case we also tape our cases our outer cases upside down so they're not having to flip them so they're in the case the right way pre-build this side up gets taped And then he can just pull them right out of the carrier, right into there. Pat's gonna push it on down to Josh. This gets taken, thrown to the side. AJ. Josh is gonna turn, re, hold on for a minute, Josh, put that back down real quick. So basically Josh is gonna make sure it's, it's all taped and then he's gonna put it on the skid. And then, I don't know where AJ Justin been. is. Justin's just kind of filling in for Denny because Denny's a loser today and didn't show up. Cutting open boxes for Brandon. Basically, he's going through here, cutting the tops off the tubes. AJ grabs the carrier, refills it, puts it back on the line. So he's just helping out. All He's floating down both sides of the line, just opening up tops of components the way that guys don't have to do it themselves he's going back and forth down this outside too picking up cardboard instead of them picking up their own cardboard they just chuck it over to the side justin breaks the cardboard down sticks it in the gondola then over here which we kind of missed the guy that's running justin floats back and forth getting both sides of the lines cardboard Throw them in the cardboard carrier. AJ comes back around here, starts grabbing the empty cart carriers, and starts filling them again. Right now, he has a ton of carriers filled, so he's going to set down and build some sleeves until it's time to start loading a bunch more carriers. And that is how we do our shells.